Hello everyone, my name is Sunil Karela. Today through this video, I'm going to give a brief demonstration on the system that I have developed which is called RTP extensor header stenography, also known as RTP EXT stain. <coughs> this system is an implementation of stenography in RTP header field of RTP transport protocol for voice over internet protocol packets VOIP. So the approach is to embed stenographic data into RTP packet is based on the fact that RTP standard allows uh, header extension and any RTP protocol implementation would suppose RTP header extension. For example, if a software doesn't understand certain header extension, then it is just ignored. It means that it is pretty safe to use RTP header extension to transfer stenographic data. Another advantage is stenographic data will be part of RTP header, not the payload. It means that stenographic data can be transferred using RTP stream with any kind of payload. <coughs> uh, okay. So with this approach, I have uh, since RTP uh, implementation uses uh, UDP, which is uh, an unreliable and connectionless protocol. Uh, I need to I need to I need to use I needed to use some redundancies for this project uh, some of them are message ID message ID will use is used to control message sequence and reordering when necessary uh, CRC 32 is used to control if a message was altered or corrupted a sending party sends the message three times within one second interval between ins uh, if receiving party is party received the first transmission of the message then the consecutive message transmissions are ignored if the first or second transmission was lost then the receiving party uses second or third transmission to receive the message if other new messages were arrived during this time then receiving party reorders them and shows them in GUI in proper order as soon as all consecutive messages are received so <clears throat> this is a GUI of my implementation network stenography RTP extension header stenography. So let me start the Wireshark the Wireshark tool so that I can record all the incoming and outgoing packets for Wi-Fi right now. So let me start with Wi-Fi. So I can see the packets, uh, the incoming and the outgoing packets uh over here right now see okay it started right now so <coughs> let me start my uh stenography i have another laptop over here right in, in front of me and then i will make a vip call from that laptop to this laptop okay make a call so right now i can see the answer or reject so as soon as i answer uh, I'm on a VOIP conversation right now. Okay. See, uh, I just had muted the speaker. Uh, it makes lots of echo, so let me mute the speaker right now. So, after, as soon as uh, this is established, I can see lots of packets moving over here. All the all the RTP packets. Uh, we can see lots of RTP packets going to and fro right now. Um, these are these all are carrying my VOIP signals. Uh, so to perform stenography, uh, I can send or receive send messages from here. So the messages, whatever, whatever I send a uh, message to the uh, to the other computer from there, these are, are all are the hidden messages, and those are embedded inside RTP uh, header extension. Um, and then those on um, those VIP packets running right now they are carrying those rtp packets and then it will deliver them to the receiver so let me send some hidden messages from here or the covert messages hello how are you doing uh, let me send from the other laptop too okay so i can see from the remote and the local uh, let me in the conversation right now okay so now uh, that was a brief demonstration of uh, this was a brief demonstration for the project and let me prove like uh, the messages were really trans really being transferred through the header extension field so for that uh, I'll be using uh, Wireshark um, 
so we can see all the incoming and outgoing packets over here and so we can see the detailed RTP transfer protocol over here so uh, the version padding extension so uh, for the extension extension field uh, to be enabled the mandatory RTP, RTP header field extension header field should be true so right now uh, the extension header is false it means that the packet that I just selected over here uh, extension is false it means that it is not carrying any header extension or it, it hasn't appended a header extension into it so I need to search for a packet that that has appended the extension header it means uh, means that the extension should be true for that packet let me search for that packet write this packet so for this packet I can see the extension is true and then uh, so maybe okay so if the extension header is true so um, the optional RTP extension field is appended to this packet so I can see the detail of that one over here extension length and defined by profile 5ee5 this is what I have the, uh, given uh, this is what I have provided uh, 5ee5 as uh, as the identifier to of our header extension it is just a random number any other identifier can be used the meaning of this identifier is to recognize that stenography is that it is the stenographic header extension so I, I just used 5e5 it means that this RTP header extension is carrying my stenographic data and then uh, I can see the extension length is 6 and we can see it over here also and then header extensions so these are all the header extensions it means that these are the encrypted hidden messages that I transport so and this is the rest the rest are the payloads payloads are the audio streams uh, and uh, I, we can even see the individual header extensions uh, since the length is 6 this is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so within these header extension uh, my secret messages reside that's it and thank you for watching the video thank you so much